Chat with PDF Files tutorial. First, you need the OpenEye API key. Check the description for the link to get it. Begin by navigating to Data Sources. Here, click on Add Your File or utilize the drag and drop feature to load the PDF file you want to use. After loading it, make sure to activate it. For smaller PDF files, you don't need to take any additional steps. GPT 3.5 has a context size of 4,096 tokens, GPT 4 has 8,192, and GPT 3.516K has a context size of 16,000 tokens, so a significant amount of data can be loaded easily. 1,000 tokens is approximately 750 words. For larger PDF files, you need to divide the document into smaller chunks and create a vector store database. With GPT Everywhere, this process is straightforward. Just click on Create Embeddings and Vector Store from Active Files. Note that this process might take some time depending on the size of your file. However, we're working on performance updates for the next release to speed up this process. What this process does is divide your file into smaller chunks. You can adjust the size of these chunks in the settings. Once the process is complete, your data is now cached and will be used in future requests. You can then deactivate the file. In the settings, you can also set how much data the vector usage should retrieve. For example, if your chunk size is 1,000 and you retrieve the five most relevant parts to your query, you will receive a total of 5,000 tokens. To view the results of the vector store search, activate the vector search only option in the settings. You can now ask anything. Please use relevant keywords in the input prompt to get better context from the vector store for GPT, which will lead to better results. The quality of the output depends on the quality of the input. I hope you now have a good understanding of how the Chat with PDF feature works.